I just recently did a video reviewing the DK61 from Diaria XK Move. It's a hot swappable keyboard compatible with Gateron optical switches. In that video, I mentioned I'd be doing a comparison between the stock Gateron optical yellows that are on this board with the Gateron optical silvers. Why compare these two switches specifically? Well, it's because they're both known for speed and they both have very similar specs. And also because Diaria asked me to do that. So here we are. They're both linear switches, they're both optical switches, they both have a pre-travel of 1mm, and they both have a total travel of 3.2mm. Where they differ as far as specs is that silvers have an actuation force of 45 grams, whereas the optical yellows have an actuation force of 35 grams, which makes it 10 grams lighter and therefore easier and technically faster to press the switches on optical yellows versus the optical silvers. Silver switches are typically known for their speed, you know how you have reds which are known for being linear, browns are tactile, and blues are clicky. Silvers have always been known to be linear, faster switches than you would get with reds. Cherry MX Speed Silver switches, for example, have very similar specs to the optical silvers we have here. If you've ever heard of the Corsair Rapid Fire keyboards, they use silver switches which makes them rapid fire because they're faster. In the world of competitive gaming, it's all about those milliseconds, those microseconds that just you shave off little by little and it's supposed to add up and give you somewhat of an advantage in your games. And that's what the advantage is supposed to be here. These switches are supposed to be amongst the fastest that you can buy. So how do they perform? Well I will say I am not a super hardcore competitive gamer. I'm also not very good at competitive games, but I did test out the yellow switches extensively for the previous DK61 video, and since then I popped in the silver switches and have tested that out a bit in the same games. Uh, they're both fast, sure, I would say that they're light. They're very light and easy to press switches. I mentioned in the DK61 review that the optical yellows were sometimes too light, where my heavy hands would rest on the keyboard, not intending to press the key, but I would register a key press by accident because my fat finger would just be too dang heavy for the weight I was putting on the switch and it would actuate and cause a response in the game. What makes these silver and yellow switches so much faster in comparison to other switches is that they have half the distance of pre-travel, whereas most switches, at least amongst the Gateron optical switches, have at least a two millimeter pre-travel, meaning how far down the switch has to travel when you press it in order to register a key press in a game or whatever it is you're doing, these switches have that cut down in half to one millimeter. So arguably, yes, they are going to be faster because you are registering a key press sooner. Now that doesn't take into account things like reaction time, your own personal reaction time. Are these keyboards going to make you a pro at Fortnite or Call of Duty or what have you? No, not any more than a $300 keyboard would. These are just kind of there to give you a little bit of that edge in case maybe you need the help. Maybe you are just terrible at games like I am and you need a little bit of a push, that speed should give you somewhat of an advantage. Again, arguably. A lot of this is gaming, marketing, gaming keyboards and mice have a lot of marketing put into them as far as giving you the competitive edge and making you faster, making you better. And as everyone knows, you only get better at games the more RGB you have. As you can see, I don't have all that much back here. That's why I'm not that good. I need, I need to up my RGB game. Again, personally, because I cannot tell if one switch is faster than the other in gaming or typing, I decided to look for a typing test and I did find one online that I will link in the description just in case you guys want to check it out. Basically, it's a reaction test with a traffic light. The traffic light will sit at red and then you're supposed to click on a button as fast as you can when it turns green. I made it so that I had to press a key on the keyboard in order to click the button and I used that as my way of gauging which switch was faster than the other. I did this a few times for each switch and as you can see on average, the yellow one was actually faster than the silver switch. Just by a little bit, again, we are talking milliseconds in difference. But if you're of the mindset that milliseconds add up, if you're in the mindset that you don't care how small a measurement of time it is, you want the fastest switches, check out the yellow switches. But if you're okay with silver, silver's there too. But between these two switches in particular, how do they sound? How do they feel? Well, personally, just from my own ear, my own experience, and my own muscle memory using each of these switches on this same keyboard with the same keycaps included, I would say they are very similar. Here's a quick sound test to show you just how similar they sound.
This keyboard overall with either switch just sounds very high pitched, very crispy, even though it's a linear switch and it's not crispy like a click might be. It's crispy in the way that it's just higher pitched and it just feels very soft and gentle. If you're a light handed typer, you probably want to look into either of these switches, even if you're not using them for gaming. If you're a heavy handed typer and you are not into gaming, you probably don't want to look at either of these. Personally, though they are very similar, if I had to pick my preference just based off of all of my preferences when it comes to switches and feeling and sound, I would go with the silvers simply because I do like a little bit more weight, the yellows are a little bit too light for me, and you might be thinking maybe it is the keycaps that are causing this to sound higher pitched, and you could be right to some capacity, but I even swapped these out for some thick SA profile keycaps I have off camera, and it sounded very similar, it didn't really sound all that lower pitched like you might think. And these are thick PBT keycaps. Not the thickest, sure, but I mean they are thicker than some other $20 keycaps I've purchased on Amazon in the past and a lot of keycaps you might find stuck on other keyboards. I think it's just something about the keycaps and the keyboard itself as well as the switches. It just has this very light, high-pitched feeling and sound. Not my personal cup of tea, but also not terrible. Both switches feel very smooth. As you could probably tell, neither of them are lubed. I don't have means of lubing these switches, and I didn't really feel a need or want to. They feel fine. They're not the best or smoothest feeling switches I've ever used. That award goes to the Tangy switches, which I might review on this channel someday, hopefully soon. But I will say, if you are looking for something more budget-friendly that's going to be smoother and faster, you want to look at either of these options. Now, if you're watching this video and you're going to be one of those folks who asks which one should I get, it all boils down to preference. Again, yes, the yellows are arguably a little bit faster because of the lighter actuation force required to press them, but they also might be too light for your liking. Luckily, again, this is a hot swappable keyboard with optical switches, so you could purchase the yellow ones, and if you decide you don't like them, just swap them out for some other switches later, and it won't be all that expensive because these switches really aren't that expensive. But if that's not an option for you, you don't want to swap out these switches, you just want to pick one keyboard, you want to purchase them, I'd say just do your research, look into the specifics, watch some other videos, not just mine, and see what it is that really grabs your attention for either of these switches. Regardless of which one you choose, the DK61 is available in both, and I will have that linked in the description. Keep in mind that at least at the time of this recording, Keymove's website is completely out of the DK61, totally out of stock. On Amazon, they do have the yellows, and they do appear to be in stock, but if you were leaning towards silvers, you might have to wait for a restock from Kmove. If you're cool with yellow, or maybe you just want one of the other ones, Amazon is going to be your answer, and I'll have that linked in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you liked it, you can check out this video here, which is about a keyboard or something keyboard related, and this video is not, but it might be something that you might enjoy. You never know. Give it a like. Give it a little taste. It's not a party if you don't do something that scares you. My wife just gave me the weirdest look from saying that. I'm out of here.